time for some more NFL Draft Preview Bacon Bits. Player evaluation for the NFL Draft is more of an art form than a science. Andrew Barry is the Browns' Da Vinci this year. Let's take a look at the NFL scouting reports for the top offensive tackles in this year's class. Pay special attention to the numerical grade. 8.0 is a perfect prospect. 7.5 to 7.3 is a perennial All-Pro. 7.0 to 7.1, a Pro Bowl talent. 6.7 to 6.8 equals a first-year starter. And 6.5, a boom or bust prospect. Let's start with Jedrick Wills of Alabama. He graded out the best in this year's class at 6.85, meaning he is a year one starter. Strengths, big, wide, extremely athletic. Quick out of the gate. Good flexibility and leverage at the point of attack. Bulldozes down blocks. Power, balance, and feet are outstanding in recovery. Plays with a nasty disposition. Weaknesses. Plays too far forward at times as a run blocker. Will one pop a block over sustaining at times? Average instincts and recognition against the blitz. Loses in pass protection due to overextending. Mikai Becton, the huge tackle from Louisville, graded out as the second highest ranked tackle with a 6.7 grade, the lower end for a year one starter. Strengths, absolute giant with dense proportional frame. Boomer upper body power blasts kick out targets off their feet. Athletic enough to make his outside zone blocks. That's important in Kevin Stefanski's offense. Long arms that allow for emergency recovery. Weaknesses. Weight could be a major issue without discipline. Opens outside too early in pass sets. Unable to respond timely to cross face stunts. Needs to get length involved in blocks sooner and needs to cinch and control rather than just shoving blocks down. Andrew Thomas from Georgia is the next prospect. His grade is 6.49, putting him right in that boomer bust range. Strengths, plays with a fierce competitive mentality, has powerful meat hooks for hands, twitchy movements to mirror and engage, effective technique on kickout blocks and for pass punch, unique talent to reset feet mid-rep to improve leverage and positioning, Above average recovery talent to redirect with power. Weaknesses, tight hips limit lateral movements and pad level battles for leverage. More of a mauler than a mover. Pass slides are choppy and lack desired smoothness. Gets caught leaning and overextending in pass pro. The fourth highest ranked of the tackles in this class, Iowa's Tristan Wirfs with a 6.48 grade. Also right in that boomer bust range. Strengths, weight room monster. This guy can squat a bus. He's quick out of his stance and into his work. Lateral quickness for move blocking. Runs zone blocks upfield to elongate rushing lanes. Again, that's important for the style of run game the Browns want to run. Above average technician coming into the league. Able to punch and reset his hands to battle Russian counters. Weaknesses. Has dominant traits, but doesn't consistently dominate with them. Average explosiveness into initial contact, inconsistent change of direction to second level movement, and issues with his sets in both the pass and run games. To give a better perspective of how these guys might develop, let's look at two prospects who graded out higher than all four of them. Back in 2016, this tackle had a grade of 7.5 meaning he grades out as a perennial All-Pro. Strengths has the elite foot quickness of a high-end NFL tackle. Very good body control and balance. Excellent bend and overall flexibility throughout all pass sets. Makes climb to the second level with good timing and powerful strikes on linebackers. Weaknesses? Frame could use more mass. After initial punch in pass protection, he loses patience and reach. More of a finesse run blocker than a drive blocker. Great feet don't come with powerful leg drive. That was the scouting report on Laramie Tunsil, who made his first Pro Bowl this year after being traded to the Houston Texans. Here's a prospect from the 2014 draft. He was graded with a 7.0 grade, meaning a Pro Bowl talent. Strengths, long arms, excellent body mass overall. 
outstanding run blocker with the strength and power to wash down half of the line. Creates surge and power with his lower body. Can maneuver his hips, slides and shuffles and mirrors well. Weaknesses. Could refine his technique and do a better job of finishing blocks. At times, quits after contact, lets defenders come underneath or get over the top. Aggressively overextends and occasionally loses his balance and falls off blocks. That was the scouting report for Greg Robinson. Was selected high in the 2014 draft, played the last two years for the Browns, but failed to live up to that high grade coming out of college. So the question Andrew Berry must answer coming up between Jedrick Wills, Mekhi Becton, Andrew Thomas, and Tristan Wirfs, is there a Laramie Tensel type player or even better out there? Or are they more like Greg Robinson or worse? Again, NFL player scouting is an art, not a science. Let's hope Andrew Berry finds a masterpiece for the Browns offensive line this season.